All right, we are looking at the medial bone of your leg, so of the lower limb. The leg, you have paired bones, just like you do in terms of your upper limb or your, your um, forearm region. So whereas you have the radius and ulna here, you're gonna have the tibia and the fibula, which is the lateral bone. The tibia, in comparison to the fibula, is considerably more robust. This is really the weight-bearing bone. Fibula has very little to do in terms of weight-bearing. It's more of a muscle attachment site. So we're looking at an anterior view here, and one of the first things I want you to note, and this, the shaft or the body portion of the tibia, is this line right here. And you can actually palpate this through on yourself. It's really fairly close in terms of the skin. So we considered this subcutaneous, and you can palpate the tibia the entire way down. All right, so let's look at a superior view of the tibia. And you can see you have these very shallow condyles. This is gonna be your medial condyle and your lateral condyle. Now how you know that this is medial if you have an entire tibia is that you'll have the medial malleolus or malleolus here. So what's going to articulate here? We know we're talking superiorly. We're very shallow. This is going to be the inferior portion of your knee joint. So your femoral condyles will articulate here, and this will be a portion of your knee joint. So this whole region right here is referred to as the tibial plateau, and then you'll have the two condyles right here. Now right in the middle of the condyles, you'll have what we refer to as your intercondylar eminence. This is where you're going to have attachment of your ACL and your PCL ligaments. So your anterior cruciate ligament and then crisscrossing that, you'll have your posterior cruciate ligament. So typically, if you have some type of injury, it typically occurs at your ACL, and you might have a tear away from your intercondylar eminence. All right, so let me move this back more into anatomical position. So here's where superior and inferior portions, and you'll have this robust region right under the tibial plateau, referred to as the tibial tuberosity. And this is where that patellar ligament, or the most inferior portion of your quadriceps femoris tendon attaches. So we know about right here is where your patella is going to be located, because the patella is a sesamoid bone that forms within this quadriceps femoris tendon. All right, let's flip the bone over. So anterior, now we're going posterior. And one thing I want you to note here is this building up in the superior portion of bone. This is what we refer to as your soleal line. And as the name would indicate, your soleus muscle, so very important in terms of plantar flexing or being able to stand on your toes, your soleus muscle is going to attach here. All right, now we're moving to the inferior portion of the bone. And as you can see, you have a very uh, shallow and smooth area. This is going to articulate with your uh, superior most tarsal bone or your talus or talus bone. All right, so important in terms of forming your ankle joint. The last thing of note, so I flip back over to an anterior view, is your medial malleolus. All right, so if you were to feel your ankle, if you feel the medial portion of your ankle, this is what you're feeling, your medial malleolus. And then if you recall in the video for the fibula, you're going to have a lateral malleolus, so that's what you can feel on the lateral side. So if you're just looking at this bone, why don't we try to uh, estimate if this is a right or a left? Okay, so we know this is medial, so this is going to have to be a left tibia because this is going to be medial and you have your medial condyle right here in the superior portion.